David Ocheng, also known as Avido, is a fashion designer who made it to the presidential Uzalendo Award list on the 1st of June this year as one of those Kenyans who, in one way or the other, impacted Kenyans in trying to curb the spread of COVID-19. As Kadzogunga reports, Avido won the honor for making masks that met the required World Health Organization standards and distributing them for free in Africa's largest urban slum, Kibera. Take a look. This is David Ocheng's workstation, the shop from which he has won many international accolades as a fashion designer. David Ocheng, also known as Avido, is famous for his different cloth designs. But the COVID-19 pandemic that has ravaged hundreds of residents in these sprawling Kibera slums has induced him to change his course in order to help in containing the spread of the virus in the informal settlement. <laughs> A video, as he is popularly known, changed his production line into mask production. And he has since touched many lives in Kibera with these masks. So um, the reason why I decided to make like, you know, mask for the guys around me and the communities around Kibera was so personal for me because, you know, uh, it triggered me immediately. Like when um, I remember that day when it was announced that the corona was in Kenya and uh, people were supposed to social distance and, you know, work from home, wear a mask, you know, use sanitizers, wear gloves at some point. And, and when we were young, a couple of times we used to sleep, you know, not having food, not because we wanted to, but, you know, because at some point my mom could not be able to afford to get some for us and, you know... When he is in this room, a video with a team of 12 tailors get to work. He folds the filter, cut it according to the master sample he has, set them aside, then cuts the cloth that will be used to make the mask using this machine and set it aside, cuts the elastics that are to be used as holders of the mask when one puts it on, then the sewing begins. It takes seconds as he is using an electric machine, joins them together with a filter, and then the final touches to have a finished product, the mask. From the first day that I decided to make the mask, the first mask that we made with the, um, with the scrap fabric that I had were like 2,124 masks. Kibra, being the largest urban slum in Africa, has a population of more than 250,000 and most of them live under a dollar a day. Hence, having a mask as a mandatory containment measure is a luxury for many here. The mask we've been like making and distributing them to free, for free for everybody around us. Like, be it, like because like we've given the mask to Kibra and also some guys from Madare were reaching out, then we could just like also like distribute them to them. Today marks their 100th day since the first coronavirus case was declared in the country. And here in Kibra, it has experienced a surge in numbers in terms of COVID-19 infections. And David Avido, a fashion designer, has contributed majorly in his little ways by making and distributing masks for free to Kibra residents in an attempt to curb the spread of coronavirus. <laughs> Avido has now distributed over 11,000 masks and hopes to produce many more in his little way to contain the surge in numbers in the informal settlements. Kazogunga Citizen TV, Nairobi.